Hello, friends. I am so glad to be here on another Wednesday night with you all. Um, I am Heidi Martin, first grade teacher and Whole Brain Teaching Executive Board member, and I am here tonight to talk about triple whammy paragraphs. So last week we talked about triple whammies, and tonight we're gonna learn how to turn that triple whammy sentence into a paragraph. So if you are joining me, please let me know who you are in the comments. What grade do you teach? Um, where are you from? And are you on summer break yet? I have seen a lot of teachers who are still in school, so um, prayers for you all. I hope you make it through. I know you will. Um, and before I start talking about the triple whammy um, paragraphs tonight, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the family super improver team. Also in the comments, when you comment, let me know, have you tried this yet? Um, my toddler is on level three right now. He is killing us all um, with his pleases and thank yous. And hi, Nancy. Um, he is, uh, we have just been working on please and then we switched to thank you. So please and thank yous. And hi, Todd. We are um, going strong with that and he, my toddler, is reminding all of us to use our manners. You guys have like just dumbfounded at how well this is working in my house. So um, if you haven't started Family Super Improver yet, what are you waiting for? Um, if you go back to the Whole Brain Teaching main page and look under videos, you can see an older video that I uh, did explaining this game. It's super easy and free. Um, so all it can do is improve your manners and your family, and it's definitely doing that in my family. So I'm so excited to be um, doing this game this summer and then bring it to my students and their families in the fall. I'm so excited for that. It's gonna be so great. Um, I see Nancy, Todd, and Stephanie here. They are all part of the Whole Brain Teaching team, so if anybody is joining in and you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, and um, they will. They are better at answering questions than I am. Sometimes when I read the comments, I'm like, okay, what was I talking about? Um, but I just wanna give you that update on Super Improver Family. I hope you are doing that at home. I hope you are having a great summer so far. And I was gonna tell you something else, but I don't remember what it was. So my brain is on summer mode, if you can't tell. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get started. If you're joining, feel free to drop in the comments who you are, where you're from. Um, like I said, we have Whole Brain Teaching staff and executive board members on here tonight to help you guys out um, with any questions you have. So if you are not familiar with the triple whammy, I'm gonna go over it really quick, but I highly suggest going back Again, to the main Whole Brain Teaching page, click on videos and find the triple whammy um, writing video. This is gonna take that triple whammy sentence to the next um, level. So Adrian wants to know how many days to go through the whole process of a triple whammy paragraph. Is that what you're asking, Adrian? If you could clarify that, we could better answer your question. Um, so the triple whammy sentence, you guys, is basically just a three-part sentence. So in first grade, this is just how I start, and we say I with a capital letter, I like dogs, zoop, cats, zoop, and birds. Er, that's basically it. So they're thinking of three things. I usually come up with a category, so that would have obviously been like an animals category um, that I give them, and then they think of their top three animals, and then they write that sentence with the commas, capital letters, and periods at the end. Um, and don't forget the and uh, gesture. So that's the triple whammy sentence. Again, go back and watch the previous video if you're not familiar with that to get more details on it. Now I'm gonna show you how I take, uh, or how all of us take a triple whammy sentence and turn it into a triple whammy paragraph. And yes, I do this in first grade. Also, um, I see Nancy talking about the brainies. There is another video that um, teaches just the basic brainies as well. So if you wanna go back and refresh on that, I suggest that too. I suggest kind of just saving all these videos because when you get back in the fall and you're ready to start writing, you're like, oh, what was that gesture again? Or what was that? What did they say about this or that? You can just quickly reference them. So, um, so now that we have our triple whammy sentence, and in my classroom, for me, what works is to have my first graders hold up their fingers like this when they say their triple whammy. You do not have to do that. Um, it just works to help my students keep track of 
what they're saying and then writing it with the commas. So one hand we hold up the fingers, the other hand we do the gestures. So again, a triple whammy sentence if we're talking about say animals would look like this. I like dogs, zoop, cats, zoop, and birds. Er okay, so that is your triple whammy sentence. Um, and Nancy, uh, Adrian, your question about how long to get through this whole process. I start with a single whammy, then a double whammy, then a triple whammy, and then I get to the paragraphs. So I don't rush it. Um, orally, this can take probably a month or so, depending on your kids. Um, and that's for me in first grade. So depending on what grade you teach, depending on what level your kids are at, that's just gonna um, depend on all of that stuff. So I did talk about the single whammy, double whammy, triple whammy, and now we're taking that triple whammy sentence that I just did into a paragraph. And yes, they can do this in kindergarten, they can do this in first grade, and I think I talked about it in another video, they can do this in middle school because I literally used this exact process when my daughter had to write a paragraph for school for something, and um, she was in like seventh grade at the time, and she showed me what she wrote, and I was like, what is this? So I literally taught her how to write a paragraph using this exact method, and I used this with my first graders and then I used it with my seventh grader as well. And actually she's a junior now or she's gonna be a senior and she could probably use a refresher. So I should have called her down for this. But yes, Nancy says, take your time, lots of practice. If you're, you'll know if your kids are ready when you're doing a single whammy, if your kids are still working on capital letters and punctuation, keep working on that till they get it. When they get it and they're ready for the double whammy with the and in there, like I like cats and dogs. Er, do that and practice that and then go to the triple whammy practice that now is when you can take it to a paragraph so your triple whammy sentence is going to serve as your topic sentence this is a gesture for topic sentence um so your i just do you guys see i just like do this because i'm so used to just doing gestures so everybody always asks about um how do you remember all these gestures and whatever? I do have them on my focus wall um, under Brainies, but I also just, after you use them a couple times and after you teach, probably Adrian, like so if you take this back in the fall and you teach this to your class, after you teach this and you're practicing it so much this one time or this one year, you're gonna remember these gestures like forever. So don't worry about remembering the gestures, but um, they will come naturally once you use them all the time. So your topic sentence is actually gonna turn in, your triple whammy is gonna turn into your topic sentence. So my topic sentence for this paragraph about animals, my opinion, maybe it's my opinion writing because I'm saying I like, would start with I like cats, zoop, dogs, zoop, and birds. Er, now comes your first detailed sentence. What did I say first? Cats? That's why I like to hold up the fingers. So I said, I like cats. So now what I like to have my students do is point to that first center. Tell me something else you like about cats. And they're gonna tell me a detail about cats. And it usually looks like, I like cats because um, <laughs> uh, they like to cuddle with me. And then, so I said, I like cats, dogs. So now tell me a detailed sentence about dogs. Um, so maybe they're gonna say, dogs are friendly. Er, and then tell me a detailed sentence about your third you know, thing in your triple whammy sentence, which is birds. And they're gonna say, birds are cool because they can fly all over the world. Er, and then your conclusion, here's your gesture for conclusion, is gonna basically be your triple whammy reversed. So then it's gonna say something like, this is why I like cats, zoop, dogs, zoop, and birds. And then you celebrate because you just wrote a paragraph. And the way I do this in my classroom, Stephanie, um, Nancy, Todd, chime in and how you do this in your classroom, please. How I do this in my classroom is I literally have a student stand up when they're familiar with triple whammies and say a triple whammy sentence like they just, like I just did. They're teaching it to the class and then I'll stop and I'll say, now tell me exactly what I just did, you guys. And I just do this with my students. And while they're standing up teaching, I say, now tell me something about cats. 
And I've used my fingers because again, it's just a, a visual reference point for my first graders so they remember what they're on. So now tell me something about cats. And they'll do it and they'll use the capital letters and a period if they're gonna say because, this is our gesture for because, it's a because clapper. We'll talk about that a little bit more on another webcast. Um, and they're gonna tell me a detail about cats. And then they're gonna tell me a detail and now tell me something else about dogs. They're gonna say it. Tell me something else about birds. They're gonna say it using capital letters and punctuation. And then I'm gonna say, now tell me your triple whammy again. And they might rephrase it a little bit, but it's gonna be mostly like, this is why, or um, they might even say, cats, zoop, dogs, zoop, and birds, are my favorite animals. Er, they're just gonna kind of reverse or paraphrase or rephrase that triple whammy sentence to make it into your conclusion sentence. Um, and then one thing that I did forget, you gotta tell me it's cool because that's what we do in whole brain teaching and this is what I do all the time. I always forget something when I'm teaching and I always use this as a way to remind my students that everybody makes mistakes and we're all still cool. I'll always just say, tell me I'm still cool. And I forgot to show you guys the indent. So of course, paragraphs, and we do take this into a triple whammy essay, which amazing, you guys. Andrea Schindler has done this essays, not just paragraphs, in kindergarten. Yes, I'm not lying. You can look on YouTube backslash Chris Biffle at the videos. Look for Andrea Schindler um, kindergarten writing and you will see she has done this in kindergarten. But anyways, we need to indent our paragraphs. So when they first start with I like cat zoop, dog zoop and birds, er, they will indent that paragraph and the indent is just kind of like um, you're pushing something. So when I teach my students this gesture, it's just like, oh, uh, like you're pushing something um, in, you know, like maybe there's a book sticking out of the bookshelf. You got to push that in uh, and give it a little, little grunt so you can make sure it's all the way in there. So you just say, oh, uh, and that's how you start with your indent and you start with your um, topic sentence for that triple whammy paragraph. And it is that easy. Um, usually, my kids are to this point by October-ish um, if I start right away. So I, I do start right away with the brainies, the basic brainies that we did the webcast on a couple weeks ago. And um, I start with that and we start writing orally our sentences. If they ask to go to the bathroom, may I please go to the bathroom? Hmm. Er, that's how we literally talk all the time. So they're used to those brainies. Then I do a single whammy double whammy, triple whammy, and then take it all into the triple whammy paragraph. I hope this makes sense. Um, Stephanie is gonna post a picture of one of her students writing a triple whammy paragraph. Um, and Stephanie has a lot of great examples of the Super Improver writing, which includes this kind of um, paragraph and this structure for um, for what we're talking about. So um, yes, yeah, Stephanie, I would love for you to post all of that. Um, amazing tool for your English learners. I think actually Andrea has a student who um, like didn't even know all of his letters when he came in and he was an English language learner. And by the end of that year, um, he's literally writing these paragraphs, you guys. And it's amazing, amazing what I have seen this do. When you make it so explicit and so direct and practice orally from a single whammy to a double whammy to a triple whammy and into um, that paragraph, it's easy. Like the kids have already been doing the single whammy. Okay, they're ready for and. And I'll tell you, my kids are usually ready for the and really quickly because they're so good at I like blah, 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 er, I like blah, 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 er. They can do that all day. So then I usually quickly add in the double whammy and say, um, you know, I like cats and dogs. Er, they do that a couple times. Now name two pieces of candy that you like. To name two of your favorite foods. Name two of your favorite movies. Um, we kind of just go with different categories to have them practice that. And then we just turn it into a triple whammy. This one takes a little bit longer because it's their first, first, first exposure to commas. Um, but they love it because zoop is so fun. And they love going zoop 
and they're so extra about it and that's okay because they are doing what we want them to do and they are writing. So um, I just love it and they love it too. And then once they get the triple whammy down, like I said, it takes just a little bit longer because of the commas in there for first, this is for first grade, um, but it's fun and they've already done it with two things so they're ready to add in their third and you should see the look on their faces when I say um, now think of your three favorite animals so they've only been doing one they get bored with that now we do two they get bored with that now your three and they're like what we can't do that but it's just fun it's just a fun way to do it and then I teach them the sentence structure and I have it usually posted on the board so there's those blanks with the commas so they can clearly see when they're supposed to do the commas oh and if you don't already know this coach is coming out with it's I think it's still being tweaked a little bit like all things whole brain teaching but super improver writing and there's some great amazing visuals for the triple whammies and the triple whammy paragraphs so you won't even have to worry about like coming up with a sentence frame or anything like that it's all going to be done for you by coach for free on teachers pay teachers so um let me see if you guys the bell ringer yes um genius ladder this yes um all of this is going to be in with the new um Super Improver Writing. So stay tuned for that. It should be finalized very soon, right, Nancy? Um, but it just it just really does make writing so much fun. And literally, when I taught my daughter, who was in seventh grade at the time, this easy way to write a paragraph, she like literally looked at me like, that's it? And I'm like, yes, it's that when you make it that fun and that easy and you're practicing it, um, it's just, it is easy and they can do it. And then they're super proud that they can do it and it does translate into their writing. So every year I've had students writing paragraphs and people, and I'll post them, you know, and people are like, who wrote that? They don't think the kids can do it. They can do it. Your kids can do it. Um, so I hope you guys will at least come back and reference this video when you are Starting school, this school year, um, Nancy's posted a link to Zowie Town. Stephanie's gonna post pictures after the live feed ends because you can't do it during the live feed, unfortunately. Um, so as soon as that's over, check back in the comments for what that kind of looks like. Um, actual writing on paper. We do so much oral writing first before we ever do um, paper and pencil writing. Sometimes it's helpful for you visual learners to see what that looks like. So um, yes, Super Improver Writing, you guys, is just a game changer. And for those of you who are Readers and Writers Workshop people, I've got stuff for you because I am that too and I'm figuring out how to use this with that. So we will figure that out together. Um, but all I know right now is that Whole Brain Teaching Writing works. It takes my first graders farther than I've ever been able to take them in writing before. Um, I think Stephanie and Nancy uh, would say the exact same thing. Um, and also, Nancy, you can't expect kids to write unless you do it every day. You also can't expect them to write it if they can't say it. So if they can't even say it, they can't write it. Um, and that's also true for mirror words. If they can't repeat what you just said, did they really hear what you just said? So this is all the reasons why I love whole brain teaching. <laughs> um, but you guys, it all is really a game changer. Like Stephanie says, um, and it will change your life and your student's life and your writing will be amazing and all the other teachers will be like, what are you doing? Please teach us. And, uh, and then you can. So um, if there's no more questions, I'll let you guys go a little early tonight. <laughs> um, Nancy knows this, but I went to pick up my daughter from work earlier today and it's usually a 15 minute drive. There was a huge accident and it took me three and a half hours to get her and get home, which normally takes 15 minutes. So I've been rushing around since I got home, praying for everybody in the accident, um, but it's just been crazy, crazy night. Um, so I hope you guys are all enjoying your summer. Um, and studying up on your whole brain teaching and we will be back with lots more for you. Stay tuned because we have some surprises, some new faces coming on here and teach you guys some really cool things about writing and other whole brain teachings 
and other whole brain teaching stuff. So stay tuned. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Check the comments after we leave and always remember, enjoy every moment.